Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be making five cards using Pink and Main's February 2022 card kit. This card kit is all about dragonflies, and there's some really beautiful dragonfly stamps that are included in this kit. Just wait till you see what those look like. But first, I do want to show you a quick picture here of everything that's included in the kit. I previously did an unboxing on my channel with an up close look at every everything that's included but just real quick there is a six by six paper pad a really pretty embossing folder with some flowers on it there is a dragonfly stencil a six by six uh, stamp set as well as some shaker pieces and some enamel dots if you are interested in purchasing this kit I will have a link down in the description box where you can make that purchase so here's a look at the stamp set. You can see how large the stamp set is. It is exclusive to the kit, so you cannot purchase this separately. But you can see all of the beautiful dragonflies. There are a total of six dragonflies. You can see that there is a really large one, and that is my favorite one, the one there at the top left. It is a dragonfly you can see with the wings on the left, and then on the right side, the wings are made up of flowers. It is so pretty, and you can color that in any color that you want. There are also two other smaller dragonflies that you can color in, and there are three solid dragonflies that you can stamp out in any color to make a solid stamp. And you can see all of the sentiments that are included in the stamp set. There's a birthday sentiment, there's uh, congratulations, or just because, a hello. So various sentiments to use on your cards. So for my first card, I'm starting with a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. I'm just putting a powder tool over it because I am going to be doing some embossing. And when you do embossing, you want to make sure that the powder does not stick where you don't want it to stick. So that's the use of the power the powder tool. So I'm using my VersaFine black ink, stamping this down. I am stamping out all of the dragonfly stamps in this set. You can see those three smaller dragonfly stamps are just a solid. So if you wanted to stamp them in any color, pink, green, blue, you can do that. I'm just using black ink here just for the purpose of just showing you how they stamp. I am going to be doing some water coloring on these larger ones that you can actually color in and I will be using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens to do my water coloring. But first I need to go ahead and emboss this. So I'm using some black embossing powder and just sprinkling it over top of my stamp. I'm going to do that with all uh, of the stamped images. Just sprinkle that powder over top and then I'm just going to tap off the excess. And all of that excess that's there in that coffee filter I'll be able to save and put back in my jar. Next I'm just going to run my heat tool over top to melt the embossing powder. And then once that is melted, I'm ready to begin my water coloring. Now I'm bringing in this piece of pattern paper. I just wanted to show you the kind of color palette that's in the paper pad. And that's where I got my inspiration for my colors. So the Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens that I'm using are a lot of the colors that are in, are in the paper pad. So I am using bright yellow. That's that color that looks almost orange and I'm also coming in with the lemon yellow and I'm blending those together and then I'm coming in with the blender and just blending that out. Now you can also use a water brush. So if you had a water brush or a paint brush dipped in water you can do that and you can blend those colors out as well. So this is a two color blend. Now if you just had one color yellow you can just put a yellow down and then use your water brush and blend that out into a lighter shade of yellow. So you don't necessarily need two colors in a color family in order to get this look of a shaded look, kind of like a gradient look going on here. So I'm coloring up the wings yellow and then I'm leaving that line that's white. I'm going to actually color that in pink. So the wings are going to have that two-toned look. So that pink color is the light carmine color and I'm just using one pink color, putting it darker at the towards the right side of that wing and then using my blender to blend that out so it's lighter at the end and then I'm going to come in and color up the rose I'm just coloring that all up in the pink color I think that's also the light carmine I'm going to color the leaves up in the turquoise green and then I'm going to use the lemon yellow for this particular flower so I put the lemon yellow down and then 
blended that out with the blender and then this flower I'm changing up a, the pink color and I'm going to be using pale rose and I'll put pale rose down towards the center and then blend that out and then the smaller flower is also going to be the um, lemon yellow and then again the leaves are the turquoise green so I will have a list of these colors down in the description box if you're interested in duplicating any of these colors so this particular dragonfly is going to have the pink color and the yellow color just blended there and then I'm also going to color up the dragonfly at the very top of the card using these same colors as well so the leaves on the top are going to be colored in turquoise green and then I'm going to blend that out and then the leaves on the bottom are going to be colored in the light carmine and then I'm going to blend that out and there are matching dies to cut all of these dragonflies out and those come on the card kit as well so I will die cut all of these dragonflies. Next I die cut a piece of vellum using a Sunny Studio stitched circle die and I'm just laying out how I'm going to position this dragonfly. I also have a stamp that says hello which I'm going to stamp onto the vellum in the lower right hand corner of that uh, vellum. So I'm actually going to emboss this with some black ink so I'm just prepping my surface with my powder tool and then I'm going to ink up the word hello with my VersaFine ink and stamp that down. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of the black embossing powder over the top of that and then I will heat set the word hello onto the vellum. So now I'm ready to put my card together. I have a piece of pattern paper that I cut to four by five and a quarter and I'm adhering that to a piece of black cardstock and that black cardstock is four and one eighth by five and three eighths and then I'll add that to a piece of pink cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And that entire panel will end up going on an A2 size card base in white. So those are just my layers and then I'll eventually add that to a card base. So the vellum circle is going to go right in the middle of that card layer. I am going to attach my dragonfly right to the center of that piece of vellum. And then I'm going to add glue and I'm only adding glue to where the dragonfly is because I don't want to add glue to the parts of the vellum that are not covered by the dragonfly otherwise the glue will show through the vellum. I do add a few pieces of the sequin mix that are included in this card kit and then I'm just going to attach this here to an A2 size card base and that is going to complete my first card. For my next card I'm going to start out by stamping the sentiment onto some black cardstock and I am going to heat emboss it so I'm just stamping out the sentiment using some Versamark ink and I'm going to put some white embossing powder over the top so then I'll just tap off the excess and then I'm going to heat set it with my heat gun and the sentiment says I am sorry for your loss and then I'm going to just trim that down and I die cut a stitch circle and a scallop frame circle out of some of the pattern paper and cardstock. So I'm just positioning the sentiment where I want it and then I'm going to glue down the circle and the frame over top. And I made sure that I put it going off of the edge of that pattern paper and then I'm just going to flip that over and cut off the excess pattern paper and cardstock. Now that piece of pattern paper is measured at four by five and a quarter inches. And then I'm just adding one of the dragonflies to the top of the circle. And then I will add that piece of pattern paper to an A2 size card base in pink. And then I'm just adding a few of the enamel dots that came in the kit. And I'm adding some of the teal ones to the circle. And I added some pink ones to the pattern paper. And that completes that card. For my next card I die cut three stitched circles from a one and five eighth inch circle die. I have this piece of pattern paper that measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths and I am just simply adding those circles to the top of the pattern paper. If you look closely at the pattern paper it actually looks like there's some circle prints on that paper and I'm just putting those actual stitch circles in the middle of the circle prints. And then I'm just going to turn this paper over and cut off the excess of those circles 
and this piece is going to end up going on a piece of teal cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And I am going to add three dragonflies. I actually colored up two additional ones off camera, exactly like I colored the first one. And I'm just going to add those to the circles on this card front. There are a few of the dragonfly that are um, extending past that card layer. I just snipped off the excess on those tails. Next, I'll add that to the teal piece of cardstock. And I did off camera stamp out a sentiment that says, Thoughts of you fill my days with joy. I stamped it on white cardstock and layered it up on the same teal cardstock. And here I'm just adding a few of the enamel dots, and then I will add that layer to an A2 size white card base. And then that will complete my card. For my next card, I am using the stencil that came in the card kit, and I'm going to ink up some Bristol Smooth cardstock using some of my Distress Oxide inks. The colors that I'm going to be using are Cracked Pistachio, Spun Sugar, Squeezed Lemonade, and Tumbled Glass. Now the paper measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths, but I do end up cutting that down, and I will cut it down to three by four and a quarter, and I'm only gonna be using a portion of that. So here I'm using some finger daubers, and I'm just putting some ink on those dragonflies. I wanted this to be a multicolored background instead of all one color. So I find that using the finger daubers, because they're much smaller, it allows me to go into a smaller space and the ink doesn't run over and get into the other dragonfly that's next to it on the stencil. So I just randomly am putting these colors down. I'm putting the yellow, the green, the pink, and the blue until I have covered my entire background. So I'll finish the rest of this off screen and now I'm going to remove the stencil and here's what that looks like on this white paper. So here's where I cut the uh, stenciled background down to three and four three by four and a quarter, and I'm adding it to that striped piece of pattern paper that measures four by five and a quarter, just putting it right there in the center. And then I have this piece of scrap pink with the polka dot pattern paper, and I'm gonna add that to the card layer. That piece measures four by three and a quarter. And then I'm going to add my dragonfly I colored this one off camera using all of the same colors that I used in the previous dragonflies. I mixed several of the colors on this, as you can see. So I have yellow and the teal and the pink. I did put some foam adhesive on the back so I can have my dragonfly pop up. And then my sentiment says, I believe in you. And I just cut that down and I'm adding it to the panel. And then this layer will go on an A2 white card base. Next, I'm going to add a few pink enamel dots to the front of this card. And then I'm going to finish up this card by just adding a little bit of the Spectrum Noir Clear Overlay Glitter Pen to the wings on the dragonfly. And that will complete this card. Moving on, I'm going to be using the Daisies 6x6 embossing folder. This embossing folder came with the card kit, but it can also be purchased separately, and I will have a link to that below. I wanted to do something a little bit different with this embossing folder, so I'm giving this a try. I'm adding some Versamark ink to the inside front of the embossing folder, and I'm putting a piece of cardstock inside, and I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine to emboss it. I did put a um, shim there, just a piece of thick cardstock, just to give it a little bit more pressure. And then I'm going to take this out of the embossing folder, and it does have the Versamark ink on it. I'm going to add some embossing powder. I'm just putting it in little sections on this card panel, and then I'm just shaking it off or tapping off the excess and saving the rest of that pink. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of this teal color then shake that off, and then I'm going to go in and add some of the purple. Just thought this was a little bit of a different look than just using ink on these embossing folders, so I wanted to give this a try. I had not tried this before, and I really like the way that it turned out. So once I add that powder, I now need to go in and heat set this. So I'm just running my heat tool over the top to melt that embossing powder, 
and that is going to be the front panel of my card front and that panel measures four by five and a quarter so next I'm taking a piece of vellum I have the vellum there in my misty and I'm using some VersaFine ink and just stamping out these dragonflies in this black ink I'm going to sprinkle some black embossing powder over the top and then I'm going to just tap that off and I'm going to heat set that so my dragonflies are going to just be made of vellum with the black ink I'm not going to do any coloring so here I'm just heat setting it and then once that is heat set I will use the corresponding dies and die cut them out I'm also going to do some embossing for the sentiment so again a piece of vellum and stamping out the sentiment says spread your wings and fly in the direction of your wildest dreams so same process here just sprinkling on the embossing powder and heat setting that and then I'm going to take a slimline it's a mini slimline rectangular die and I'm going to cut that out so next I'm going to add some double-sided adhesive tape to the sides the left and right sides of the back of the sentiment and then I'm going to adhere that sentiment onto this panel and then for the dragonflies I'm going to glue just the center of the bodies down and I do that for the larger dragonflies and then these smaller ones I just glue the whole thing down to the card front and what that does is it allows those wings to pop up on the sides and it just adds for some dimension onto your card layer so that card layer will be added to a piece of pink cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half and then I will add that entire layer to an A2 size white card base. To finish up this card, I'm just going to go in my stash and grab some silver gems and just add three to the centers of the dragonflies. And I'm only going to do that to the larger dragonflies. And I also add a few to the sentiment at the bottom of the card. So that completes my card. Once again, if you're interested in this kit, head on down to that description box and you'll see a link where you can go to purchase that kit. I would love to hear in the comments which card was your favorite. So I'm looking forward to reading those. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for more card making tutorials. Thanks so much for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye bye.